a prestigious landmark site, with a fascinating history, eye-catching innovation, and huge excitement. A thriving home for communities and businesses, St. Catherine Docks is as vibrant as it is welcoming. St. Catherine Docks are the nearest to the City of London, occupying a relatively small area of land, and with a narrow entrance to the river, they were constructed on a historic location, immediately to the west of the Tower of London. The story of St. Catherine Docks is traced all the way back to 1147, when Queen Matilda, the wife of King Stephen, set up a church and hospital next to the Tower of London, named St. Catherine's by the Tower. Fast forward 600 years and the landscape of London had changed dramatically. With overseas trade becoming increasingly desirable towards the end of the 18th century, a new series of wet docks were built allowing ships to be loaded and unloaded quicker than ever before. St. Catherine Docks were the last of London's wet docks to be built. After years of protests against the docks, mostly by residents who were to lose their homes if the reconstruction went ahead, the bill was finally passed in 1825 and St. Catherine Docks, as we know it now, were fully opened in 1829. Over 10,000 people lost their homes in the rebuild and St. Catherine's by the Tower, a key part of the area's history, was destroyed. Believe it or not, this was once a pub, called Bull's Head. Back in the 1800s it was one of the most important parts of the docks, where a lot of workers would wait to see what the ships brought, they would come to the docks every day uncertain of what type of work there would be. A lot of workers were hired from the pubs, working with the dock companies to hire and fire workers. The idea was that in return the workers would at the end of the day head straight to the pub and spend all their wages. So, the pub became a central part of the docks, socially and commercially. As the Thames is a tidal river, sometimes they would be waiting quite a long time for the tides to change and the ships to come in, once made up one of London's busiest ports, handling shipments of tea and spices from all over the world. St. Catherine Docks had a unique design. With the design of St. Catherine Docks, warehouses were built almost up the edge of the dock, and goods were unloaded directly from ship into the warehouse, making the whole process more efficient. This design was not used again at any other London dock, which probably gives an indication that the intended efficiencies were not achieved. The dock entrance from the river was small compared to the other docks, limiting the size of ship that could enter St. Catherine docks. Nowadays, it is central London's only marina and has evolved into a thriving waterside community featuring modern and unusual office space, luxury homes and quayside dining and shopping, a stone's throw from the Tower of London. The recent renovation of the marina in 2017 has evolved St. Catherine Docks into a thriving waterside community featuring 185 berths in three basins, for vessels up to 40 meters long, as a visitor or on long-term berth contracts. The marina offers outstanding facilities and services along with a social calendar of enjoyable nautical events and all-year-round activities. Today, it is home to a range of leading companies and brands including Tech Incubator Rain Making Loft, Tom's Kitchen, Gravis Tapas and Artisan Coffee Shop White Mulberries. The docks are open to the public all year round, welcoming locals, residents, and visitors alike to get involved in special events. Special events are common and include the annual Classic Boat Festival in September, food markets, art exhibitions, live tennis action, floating film festival, yoga lessons. Every Friday, the docks hosts the popular World Food Market, serving some of the capital's best street food. With its unique location and excellent transport links to the rest of London, St. Catherine Docks are a stone's throw from the delights of one of the world's greatest cities. Whether you are using the marina as a convenient base from which to discover London or looking for a bit of peace and quiet in this secluded enclave of our busy capital city, you would find what you are looking for. The marina aims to offer the best facilities and a comfortable stay. Visiting the place, you take a walk along the docks to admire the boats and enjoy the local pubs and restaurants. 
Furthermore, St. Catherine Docks offer private offices of all sizes on flexible terms, meeting rooms to hire, virtual offices, amenities include dedicated reception and management team, air conditioning, and heating, kitchen, and dining areas, secure bike storage, showers, and lockers, CCTV and 24 hours access, full IT and telephony solutions, Wi-Fi throughout. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch all my lectures, you may be able to start investing in rental properties a little quicker. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell to get alerts when a new video is posted. Please write your comments, questions, or concerns you would like to share.